I need the screwdriver again for the upcoming tasks. Just like the previous time, I use the haptic UI software to tell the robot to retrieve the screwdriver from the rack. The change of the robot's TCP is not yet fully synchronized with the haptic control system, so I do the necessary configuration manually. I also need the screwdriver tip holder, so let's get that from the rack as well. Before the bolt can be screwed in, I try to sense that the bolt is aligned with the threaded hole. Since the tool tip holder is not locked to the screwdriver, care must be taken when removing the tool tip from the bolt. Otherwise the tip holder might coming off from the screwdriver instead. In a practical application this would be unacceptable, but when testing system functions such imperfections can be useful in determining system criteria. Until I touch something, it's actually quite difficult to understand the relative position of the tip of the tool in relation to the end of a small bolt. The screwdriver used in this case is a cheap hand tool. In an industrial application, a more sophisticated tool should be used, with proper screw fastening control and even traceability features. Finally, it's time to return the tool tip holder back to its rack and command the robot to return the screwdriver to its rack as well. This is the last video in a series of videos on remote maintenance of a prototype electrical connector. The aim of the implemented remote operations was to test the feasibility of the developed haptic control system functions. Thank you for your interest.